Hello, Solar by Green Greg here, and today I'm going to show you how to program the Pentair Superflow VS or VST pump. Supermax VS pump is also the same pump, but it's a black pump instead of almond. So either way, they both program the same. Okay, so let's get right to it. Okay, so first thing to do, by the way, is hit this stop start button to stop the pump. And the first step that we're going to do is we're going to set the time. So what you do is hold on to the display button and it'll flash 12 hour or 24 hour. You could use this up and down arrow, see this here? You could move it down to do 24 hour front military time or the 12 hour. I'm gonna slip to the 12 hour. And then the time, this usually starts at 12 o'clock, but there's been a time change and now the pump is not reading the right time. Should actually be like 306. So I'm gonna keep on pressing this up button. Okay, once you have the time set properly, and make sure you got AM or PM set properly. Okay, and the, by the way, you have to do, do the up and down arrow on to get your AM or PM. So make sure that that is correct. Press the display again. Okay, and the time is set. Okay, so now that we have the time set, the next step is to adjust the speed. So we got three speeds here, and we got quick clean cycle. So for instance, uh, let's just say you're just filtering the pool. You could set at slow speed, number one. Let's say later in the day you're running solar. You could set number two for a higher speed, and then number three, if you want, you could have the pump run some more at a lower speed. And then lastly, we've got a quick clean cycle. So let's just say you went through all your cycles and your pool's still dirty. At the touch of one button, you could have this pool pump run at high speed and do a quick clean cycle for two hours. And you could do that without touching any of the programs. So it's a quick touch of a button. So you do wanna make sure your pump is off by pressing this off button, by the way, while you're doing this. So let's start, press number one. And this is all a little bit of guesswork. You have to just test out what speed works. Obviously, if you've got a bigger pool, if you've got waterfalls, if you're running solar, if you're running creepy crawly, all those things require a higher speed. Oops, if the display goes back, you just press that speed button again. And first thing you have is your time. So this is starting at 8 a.m. That's a little bit early. Let's start at 9 a.m. Uh, two hours. I think two hours is okay. So that means that this speed would end at 11 a.m. This is just filtering at that time, okay? Let's go to speed number two. So speed number two, this customer has solar pool heater panels, and when we have solar pool heating, we need a little higher speed to pump the water up to the rooftop. Don't necessarily have to run it real hard, but we wanna run it enough so that we get enough flow. Um, this customer also has a very large solar system with 13 solar panels, which is larger than most. So I'm gonna put this up to 3,200. And again, this is some guesswork. You just have to try what works for your pool. Let's go with 3,200 for solar. Okay, and I'm gonna press the two button again, and now it's gonna have the duration. So I think I'm gonna stick with six hours, but all you have to do, by the way, if you wanna adjust this duration of time, see this is duration right there, just the up and down arrow, oops. Up and down arrow, you can adjust the duration. And you can tell it's duration because it's flashing right there. So I'm gonna keep it at six hours. So six hours from 11 a.m. would make it stop at 5 p.m. So we'd be done with solar by then. Okay, so 3200, six hours would bring me to 5 p.m. Okay, so that's the other speed. Let's go to speed number three. You don't have to use speed number three. You can just leave it alone if you don't need it. But this customer wants to run their pool for 12 hours. That's a bit longer than most, but that's fine. So again, see how the speed's flashing? Use this up and down arrow. Oop. So let's press this. Um, I think I'm gonna go with 2450 again. Press this again. See how it says duration? Okay, so what duration do we want? Uh, let's go four hours. Okay. Why I say four hours, that's because the customer wants to run this pump from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m., 12 hours. I'm gonna press this button again. 
See it says 2450 for speed. Press the button again, four hours. Okay, so this is all set. This will return back when it's done flashing. And so we have two hours from 9 a.m. on speed number one from 9 a.m. We got two hours. That takes us to 11 a.m. I put six hours from 11 to five. Okay, uh, that's a solar cycle, it's a higher speed. And then I went back down to a, a slower speed at night. This customer has a waterfall and say so they like the circulation at nighttime. Okay, and so with that, we'll press the stop start button. And when we start this up, it's gonna get a bit noisy. It's gonna first prime on high speed and then it's gonna slow down. So let's do this. All right, it's priming up. That's perfectly normal, it takes a moment. Okay, and so while this is priming up, it will get a bit noisy and you'll hear some water flowing through the pipes. That's absolutely normal. If you look at your jets coming out of the pool, they're gonna be bubbling quite a bit. Uh, that's gonna last for a few minutes. It could last as long as five minutes, but this will settle down once the air gets pushed out of the pipes. Also, this customer has a solar pool heater panels. So when those are on, those also get full of air and it takes a while to push that air out. But see now it's settled down a bit. So that's absolutely normal. By the way, here's the solar pool heater panels up on the rooftop. I got a separate video explaining the solar pool heater panels. Let's just show you what those look like. Let's see how the pool settle down. And you just, what I do is I just stick my hand in here, make sure it's good flow. All right, that's, that's actually really good flow. So you can always adjust it up and down and repeat that procedure again. This customer's pool is about average. It's roughly, uh, let's say roughly about 15 by 30 or so. Okay, see how it has the time here? It's about 20 seconds or so. Good climbing. So we'll just let it be here. that we went down to the 3200 right now we're bring number two speed for solar okay. so we'll go back we'll just take a quick look at the pool flow so after it's done priming just simply check and make sure that the flow feels good. If you see too much water bouncing out of the pool, um, lots of bubbles, then you might have a leak somewhere. Make sure you don't have a leak around the filter or the pump area um, or somewhere else. But this is pretty normal right now. And that's, I think, a really great speed. And this is with the solar pool heater on, okay? Often, by the way, I've seen uh, leaks around the chlorinators. So if you start seeing champagne bubbles, that probably means you got a leak around the chlorinator. Just FYI. Okay. So everything looks very good here. Those are some of the pool heater panels. How beautiful are those? Okay. This switch is number three here for a moment. And I'm going to try it with the solar off. says with the solar off and the slower speed. So again, still really good flow. Um, feel good flow coming out of the jets. So again, we don't have a lot of rapid bubbles, but we got just a nice flow going through here. So that, again, right now it's between nine and five, so we should be running speed number two. So I'm gonna press this on number two, and I'm gonna turn the solar back on. And I got a different video showing how the solar works. Here's our solar valve opening back up. One more thing I should mention too is this display is not waterproof, so make sure you close this cover. 
you don't close this cover and water gets in this blade, it can be very, very expensive. So be sure to close this. So I hope you found this video helpful. So go ahead and save this video. So that way, if there's any power outages or you need to adjust that speed again, you've got this video handy. So Solar by Green Greg, on this channel, I cover solar for home, home solar panels for electric, solar pool heating, energy efficiency, and I give you basic troubleshooting that a homeowner can do themselves, as well as helpful information about solar. You see, I'm a homeowner too, and just like you, sometimes I'm just trying to get some information without a sales pitch or without having an expensive service call for something simple. If that's you, you just want information, you're at the right spot. So go ahead, hit that subscribe, hit that thumbs up, and hit that notification bell so I can bring you more of these great videos. Thank you so much, and have a great sunny day. Bye-bye.